Good evening, my name is Leo Archer Bloom, and I'll be your host for tonight. Joining us tonight is Hugin. So, okay. he's a Yu-Gi-Oh player, as we all know, but he... How how well do you know MTG? Uh, how well do you know Magic the Gathering? Uh, I know it's magic and it's created by Wizard of the Coast. And, and it has colors, that's it. And that's it. And we'll force him to review some Magic the Gathering cards. So without further ado, yeah. let's start the video. Also, I totally stole this idea from, you know, other Yugi tuber, which Duel, is yeah, Duel Logs. Yeah, Duel Logs. I totally stole it from from Duel Logs. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a tribute to you. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first card is Opt. I will let you read the card, Hugin. Oh, it's I know it's a blue mana card. Mm-hmm. The type is instant. Which is... I don't know what symbol on the right of instant is. It kind of look like an eagle. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's that icon. Uh, scry one. Parenthesis. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card on the bottom of your library, and then draw a card. Mm -hmm. And then flavor text, and then some technical. Yeah, necessary and stuff. And um. Another important thing is the cost on the top right. Well, usually you can only one. pay one. Uh, you can only play one land per turn, so that's usually follows the turn that you're in. Like, I don't know what the cost, but mm -hmm. the effect is not bad, especially if it's. I'm gonna assume instant is like you know basically spell speed too. Yeah, spell speed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like it's 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 something that you can respond with while opponents play. Yeah. Or... Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely. It's like, yeah. It, yeah. Quick spell. Yeah. Quick spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, scry one is not bad. I mean, like, it's technically rearranging your stuff, but it's not that useful. Drawing a card is useful in any card game, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Is <laughs> any card? I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh player would kill to have this card on tree. <laughs> I mean, if it's if this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card, like I don't know <laughs> the equivalent cost. Uh, uh, banishing, what? Banishing five from your deck <laughs> to like look one on top and then draw a card. It's not. It's not yeah. Or or you can like. By modern, yeah, or you can scry three and then pick draw one and then you cannot special summon. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically yeah. part of the duality. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Is it good in Magic yeah. the Gathering? Since I think Magic the Gathering is like more controlly because there's a resource game, right? Mm. With the mana and stuff. Mm. So it's not bad, but it's not. It's it's like in Yuga, it's like you putting upstart. It's 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 too <laughs> minusing your deck, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. I, I usually put two or three of opt in my deck. Yeah, because I'm a because blue like in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you can have thirty nine deck, thirty nine <laughs> card deck, why not? It's always better to have like the yeah. most less, so your deck is more consistent. Exactly. You upstart. It's less good though because it's it costs mana, but one mana is like yeah, you don't care about one mana most of the time. Yeah, it's it's negligible cost. Yeah. So uh, this is basically just upstart goblin. Then with, this is upstart with goblin. Yeah. <laughs> right, you're correct. And let's move on to the next card. The second card is settle the wreckage. Settle the wreckage. So it's uh. a four mana cost, mm -hmm. two whatever, and two white. Yep. It is also an instant. Mm -hmm. Still don't know what the symbol. That, that, that's just a, the sad symbol. Oh, okay. Exile all attacking creatures target players. Wait, exile all attacking creatures target player controls. Oh, target players. Okay. Mm. That player may search for his or her library for that many basic land cards, but those cards. Well, put those cards into the battlefield tap and uh -huh. shuffle his or her library. 
Is this like an old card or? No, 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 no. no. This oh, is what I. Mm. Let's still use his or her. <laughs> yeah. Shuffle the library. Oh, uh, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, they still use that. <laughs> to be fair, you give like a bit. Uh, they, they get more I mean, space, more tag space than Yu-Gi-Oh! because the effects are not as cluttered. Yes, but like, I think that should be something that doesn't need much explanation. Like, if you, if search you their library, search, they should just yeah, say, just search their library. Immediately, if, it, if it's searching a library, then automatically cut shuffle them. Uh, yeah, I think they want to make it more accessible to newer player. I think. I mean, sh a new player doesn't play by by themselves. Uh, that's so you, true. You can. You, you, there's always the what's it called the mentor, uh, and if the mentor like automatically shuffle their uh, library or deck, it's like implied like, oh, this is how you do things. I guess. You know. I, I guess that's right. But yeah. Or putting recordings aside. <laughs> uh. Exile or taking so is actually like sending it to uh, banish, yeah. Banish or like graveyard? Banish. Ex graveyard is banish. the graveyard, yeah. Okay. Oh, exile is like remove from play or like remove from play, yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's non targetable. Yeah, it's non destroying non removal. Mash banish, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so the player may So it you you wipe the field of the attacking monsters, but uh -huh. then you let your opponent search for yeah b mana search basically for, for yeah land or basically resource card as much as the monster that yep. exiled. Yep. For a four mana card, I don't think is that really good except like in a pitch because you're giving uh -huh. your opponent a lot of potential results for the next turn. Uh -huh. Well. Yes, that is. So that's your final answer. It's okay. It's. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe this is good in Magic, but in Yu Gi Oh! this is kind of like <laughs> meh in terms yeah. of like effect because there's too much positive your opponent get. But, also, yes, Yu Gi Oh! is like. Uh, yeah, Yu Gi Oh! is just it's too fast. <laughs> let's, let's be yeah. fair. Okay, so. Uh, the real answer is this 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 card really like shapes the format <laughs> <laughs> you cannot just attack a white white mage like really nearly anymore they gave uh, the, oh yeah because the instant, magic yeah. player finally knows the fear of us attacking into mirror force <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's instant. <laughs> yeah, it's instant. They finally, finally know the fear of Mirror Force. This is the first time, I think, that this card, this kind of card like being used a lot. So basically, it's a battle trap. Yeah, it's a battle okay, trap. Like, <laughs> this a bit too much positive. Like, I don't know, I would put like half as many. Yeah, that that's... That's one of the tactical decisions that you have to make. Like, if your opponent like have two or three cards, right, and you know some of them are lands. In, in Magic, there's a mana flooding where you have too much mana but not enough cards to play. So, if you know they are, that your opponent is flooding, you can just use this card safely, I guess. I guess. I mean, in Magic, we, we have colors, right? So not every everyone can every deck can use the same card. But every white deck will use this, so yeah, this duality level. At least what? one copy. So it's of it. basically become like a battle staple. Then. Battle staple, yeah. Yeah. It's like because green, like like green aggro thingy, if I remember correctly back uh -huh. then, I, I forgot. And the white white aggro thingy, they full of uh white and black it's full of cheap stuff. Uh the vampire stuff, if I remember correctly. They full of cheap stuff and they're prone to flooding, so you can like destroy like five of their monsters and then they have nothing else to play. And green is just play few big creatures that untargetable basically, so this is one way okay. to remove them. Yeah. Uh back then. Okay. I I think they still use it in Commander, but uh yeah. Uh next card. There you go. Oh no, yeah. I've Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Other bit, uh, one of my internet friend has 
talk to me about this card. Oh, there you go. So I know this is like a big chungus that basically a big payoff if you if you can put this because yeah cannot be countered so you cannot respond to it basically uh huh take an extra turn meaning you skip your opponent turn in a way yeah we cannot even do that in Yu-Gi-Oh yeah I mean you can <laughs> well with some cards well some cards but it's too hard it's not like a an effect that exists at on its own yeah yeah so flying can only be blocked by flying or creature with reach protection from color spells meaning even if you can somehow respond to it <laughs> it's immune to like you know other colors it, uh i i think protection yeah yeah it cannot be targeted or destroyed i think by, yeah. by that color if and then other six uh i kind of forget what my friend explained to me but it's something when it attacks your opponent kind of must open. sacrifice six permanent <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you will sacrifice six whenever it's... No, 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 the, the defending opponent. Oh. I have shit. to sacrifice six at the moment this card declares an attack. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, when an Emrakul is put to the graveyard from anywhere, it shovels. Yeah, basically, it just goes back to the deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you can bring it out, it's game over, basically. Yeah, it's 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 bringing. It's basically a tower. <laughs> it's basically a tower. It's exactly a tower. It even looks like tower. Right. Our final card for the day is Thorough Spat. Okay, this is an old. Card. Uh, it is it's an old card. <laughs> Thorough Spat land. So basically, the the one that gives mana. Yep. I think. Yeah. Exactly. Choose two target blocking creatures. Oh, just choose two target blocking creatures and opponent control. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my mind is like that's not <laughs> how the text work, right? Like, oh no, no that's I'm taking it Yu-Gi-Oh mode. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the design language is different because like, yeah. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. each of uh, if each of those creatures could block all creatures that the other is blocking, remove part of them from combat. Hold on. <laughs> it's one then blocks all creatures. The other was what? What? Huh? <laughs> so okay. Pretend I have two blocking creatures. You mm -hmm. have two blocking creatures. Uh, you ha I you have two attacking creatures, and I have. Oh, two I have blocking. two attacking creatures. Yeah. Two blocking. And if it's a risk, you could block all creatures that the other is blocking. I still don't get that <laughs> phrase. If each those creature could block all creatures that I'm. <laughs> I, I, I learned English for like how many years, so don't get this. Uh, remove, remove. So it's basically mutual destruction, or okay. Like... So uh, if all, what they mean by if those creatures could block all creatures that the other is blocking, meaning that if one creature have flying and the others and one of the blocking creature doesn't have flying, that means they cannot block the creatures, right? The other right. creature. So that's what I meant by that. I'm still figuring figuring out this card as well. This is the hardest card to decipher to decipher in magic. <laughs> <laughs> because after that is each one then blocks all creature the other was blocking. Like what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I I don't even uh uh can can we see the, the, the Oracle text? Three hundred and forty six minutes later. Oh exchange two of opponents blocking creatures. This exchange so may like not this. cause an illegal block, so it's basically just switch the blockers. <laughs> like from your field to my field? No, no, no. Just if we have two attacking creatures and uh, one of my creature, like you're attacking, right? So. Okay, okay. So, if, so if I, so, you you have two attacking creatures uh, in Magic: The Gathering, you attack yeah. me, like the okay, player. Hold up. Yeah, right, right. Hold up. So, I got A and B. You got. A and C B. and D. C and D, yeah. Right. A attack C and then B attack D. 
Uh, no, you attack me, but I assign C to block A and D to block B. Right. Be because defender, but then you, yeah. But then I activate this card, so A it exchange D. Yes. And then B attack C. Yes, exactly that. I oh my god. <laughs> But you know, card games, so you have to like uh, run rules and stuff. <laughs> How's your head? Why do you need the remove of <laughs> both of them from combat clouds? Why do you need that? Because to they need to cancel the switch attack first. And target or something. <laughs> Do they not have attack target in the in the lexicon? Of no, the they do not have board. attack target. Oh my god! <laughs> because you, you you only choose to attack, and you only attack the player, which is me. You cannot pick to 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 fight other creature in Magic the Gathering, so that's yeah. why. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Assuming that you can do that as like a instant thing, which I'm gonna assume that little icon. Yeah. Before the text is indicate. Yeah, that's tap. And yes. The and then the next effect, whenever a source path become tap, it deals two damage to you and each creature you control. So it's that's basically the cost. Uh, uh, that's part of the effect. Yeah. Part of the effect that is activated by the cost, which is another ruling yeah. issue in this card. I'm gonna say for. For the time, it's decent, but then as the meta grows and the set changes, it's no longer that good. No one knows there what's go. going on anymore with this card. It's, it's a rolling nightmare, and if you play it, you're gonna get punched. Yeah, like no exactly. It's a meme card. It also hits your, uh, hits your own monster that is attacking as well, so that's basically giving your opponent plus two attack. Yeah, there you go. This is... <laughs> It's just a horrible card. <laughs> like last turn, last wheel, and fucking pole position. And that's it. Okay, let's go to the outro. Let's go to the outro. So, what do you think about Magic the Gathering's card? I'm so glad I never played that game. <laughs> or will. Like, I'm gladly being an abusive marriage with Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I can fix it. I can fix her. Oh my god, I can't. It's fine. She doesn't hit me all the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, oh, for those of you who's new to the channel, since we have like a sudden growth spurt in the channel subscription, so most of our viewers will be new. Uh, I do play in every card game. Except maybe uh, Vanguard, I hate Vanguard, but I play Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Digimon as well, and Magic the Gathering, Shadow First, all, all that stuff, so I, <laughs> I have side chicks, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh and Gwent at one point in my life. And Gwent? <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot about Gwent. So yeah, Maybe uh, maybe we can do another Yu-Gi-Oh duel video. Oh, next that's... Time. Oh... Because I've been, it's I've been, been so doing, long. We should do a stream yeah. about it. I've been doing with B Trooper lately. Uh, it's, it's in my chain. I haven't made any new decks recently, though. I've been playing like. Try Sword Soul. Digimon maybe. and stuff. Ah. Sword Soul Tangle is cool. I, 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 should, I should give it a go, yeah. Or, or since you're interested with Brave Token, Brave Deck, it's also Do good. they have any support? Yeah, there are some new ones. Uh, well, I'll go check it out then. Anyway, we should stream it because, yeah, you know. Yes. We, we get good attention <laughs> in our stream. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video and good night.